Good evening, everybody. It's Mary with Stamps and Lingers. It is Sunday night at 7 o'clock. Let me wiggle this just a little bit. Sorry if that made you dizzy. Uh, it's 7 o'clock, a little bit early this week, so that I can attend an Amy's Ink and Crew team meeting at 8. So let me get this uh, computer booted up here so I can make sure that we are actually transmitting. And let's see what we get. Well, you know, my speedy computer. There we go. Okay, it looks like we're transmitting. And we've got some folks watching. Hey, Mary, how are you? Um, not sure who all is on, but it'll come up. And put everything together. Goodness. All right. Hi, Jean. Hey, Sharon. Glad you could make it. Hey, Robbie and Donna and Sue. I appreciate y'all coming. Sorry for the earlier time, but um, once a month or so, we have a, a team meeting, and I like to be able to attend them on Sunday because, well, you know, I'm a creature of habit. So... This morning, I gave you a sneak peek. Hey, Jacqueline, how are you? I haven't seen you around, so. Hey, Karen, glad you could join, appreciate it. And Ellie, nice to see you. We'll give a few seconds here for everybody to get joined in. I'm gonna take a quick drink. Finn's been coughing and hacking, and I've been coughing. I guess the pollen is really getting it this week, so anyway. If I have to take a break to take a drink, you will understand that it is the pollen. Alrighty then, so let's get going. This morning I gave you a sneak peek of this little card. Now, you guys have probably figured out that I kind of like a collage card, and that is what this is, and it is a collage card using the brand new, coming in the 2017-18 catalog. Hey, Paula. Um, Hey, Jacqueline, I kind of like the earlier time, too, except I have a really hard time getting ready to be ready by this time. By the time I do dinner and feed the horses and whatnot, it's a little bit hard, but I like being done a little earlier, too. So, um, yeah, so once a month or so, <laughs> we'll be done early. All right, so we're using the Sea of Textures. It's a great little stamp set. This will be new in the 2017-2018 annual catalog, uh, which will go active on the 1st of June. If you are a demonstrator, you'll be able to pre-order starting on the 1st of May. And here's just a news flash. If you're interested in being a demonstrator, if you join up in May, you can pick from our um, product purchase premier, which is the pre-order. Um, you can pick for, from those items to fill your starter kit. So just something to think about. So bundled with this, see if textures. Hey, Barbara. Hi, Karen. Glad to see you. Hey, Shirley. Um, yep, I know, I had to go an hour early this week just for the team meeting. Um, hi, Karen, glad you could join. Hope Perry is doing well, my friend. Um, anyway, sorry. Sea of Textures, and in this catalog, for the duration of the catalog, it will be bundled with the Under the Sea Framelits, which is a wonderful set. We're going to use that. And then I made my banner, my sentiment banner, from a die cut in the new lakeside framelits. All right, so let us go ahead and commensurate, shall we? Let me put these aside for a minute. Now, ahead of time, because really, how, how much can you watch me die cut? Um, I got everything ready as usual. I've got some of the Tranquil Textures DSP. Love this set. Here's just a couple of the papers. This is Tranquil Tide. And then on the other side is crumb cake. We're going to use the Tranquil Tide side. And then I have this. This is Balmy Blue. Balmy Blue is another is a new color in the Subtles catalog, uh, collection in this new catalog. Uh, hey, Julie. Yep, the, the, the net is wonderful. I really like it a lot, too. And yes, Karen, this Lakeside bundle is really good. Um, all right. So... Balmy Blue, brand new subtle. We're gonna use a piece of this. This is actually the piece for the envelope flap, so we'll set it aside. We've got a piece for our octopus, so this is a scrap piece of Whisper White. And then I've used Pineapple Punch, which is a new in color, the 2018-2020 in color. I've got it for my mat, and you can see I also had a mat for the strip across the front. And I have a piece of the Balmy Blue um, Tranquil Textures DSP, and I've already embossed it in the Seaside Teeth. So this is a teeth that we've already got. 
and so you can already make that happen. Yes, Julie, it is wonderful. Hey, Susan, glad you could glad you could join. So these card cuts will all be on the blog post tomorrow. And while I was cutting, I cut one of the nets, the die cut for the net. Obviously, it's this die. And I cut it out of uh, Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper. This is some seagrass, and I've cut a couple of those. Two out of um, Soft Sea Foam, which is another new subtle. And one out of Tranquil Tide. And they're a little persnickety that they get caught together, just like real seagrass would be. And then this, one of my very favorite dyes in the set, is this little branch coral. And I cut two of them from Tranquil Tide and one from Vellum cardstock. And we've got some sand dollars, which are kind of fun. I've cut a couple of those out of the soft sea foam and some out of Tranquil Tide. And when you push the center out, you get little starfish. So that's kind of cool, kind of two for one on that die. So that's fun. So I've got those waiting and they'll be ready to start assembling our collage in just a moment. Do I have trouble? Yes. When, when, you're, when you are embossing with the seaside teeth on DSP, you do have to be very careful. Um, it will tear it because the DSP is thin and that's a, it's a, it's got a deep emboss on it, that particular folder. Don't have the same problems with cardstock, but if you're going to emboss DSP like this, just be aware of the fact that you have to be careful. All right? Oh, oh, am I back? Sue, am I back? Am I back? Let me see what I got going on here. Just a minute. Uh-oh. Is it okay now? Somebody send me a message that's... Uh, yes, wetting it first might help, Julie. I just am always too lazy to do that. So, yes, Sue, I'm back in focus. Okay. Whew. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and start assemblaging all of these pieces and parts. Assemblaging, that's a word I just made up. Alrighty, we're going to use some fast fuse very carefully on our embossed DSP. You could also use liquid glue if you're worried about tearing it. You can certainly do that. Um, I'm just kind of being careful here. And then I am matting this on... Uh, hey, Janet, I'm glad you're with Sharon and Jean. Just gonna emboss this on pineapple punch. This is such a good yellow. I love this yellow. It's bright and it's vibrant and it's pure, pure yellow. And I really like how it looks with balmy blue and the tranquil tide. I think it's very, very, very pretty. All right, and then we'll do this DSP strip as well. Again, you could use liquid glue if and you wanted to. Did y'all have a good weekend? I hope you had a good weekend. This one was pretty good for me. Uh, except it rained all day today. It rained all day and then after the cold front came through, the temperature here dropped like 20 degrees in about an hour and a half. So my horses were all wild as March hares when they came in today. Bo, the 28 year old, thought he was two and was acting the fool. So fortunately he didn't do something goofy and fall on his butt. All right, now I'm going to fast fuse this embossed, uh, this matted piece. Julie, it, well, it's, of course it snowed there. It's still winter practically for you guys in Iowa, but it's not supposed to be like this here. I, I demand spring. I was wearing shorts yesterday and today I've got, I had to have a hoodie back on. All right, so we're gonna just put that on and be sure we get it straight. All righty then. Okay, so now we will begin our collage. And I'm gonna start with some of the, oh, not in Southern Iowa, is it supposed to be, uh, is it supposed to be summer there? That is true, Jacqueline, no more fast fuse after May 31st, so. If you want it, you best get the refills now. 
All right, so I'm just using a little bit of the white Tombow glue on the back of my Dazzling Diamonds net. Uh, the dies in this set are truly cool. I really like them. All right. We're just going to kind of put that on there kind of however we want it. It's our collage and our net. We can do whatever we want, right? All right, and then I think I'll take some of these seagrasses and I'm going to kind of put them on kind of at a you know, so they look kind of wavy-like. Now, it isn't very easy always to get things to stick to the dazzling diamonds, but I have discovered, or well, to any of the glimmer papers, really, I just use some liquid glue, and I put it on there and give it a good pat down, and then I leave it be for a minute, like a few. I just don't mess with it, and it tends to take a hold pretty good. All right. We're just using some on the bottom. Now, when I first made this card, the first time I made this card, I actually stamped and cut out my octopus first because that way I could dry fit all of the pieces. But since I've made it once, I kind of have a pretty good idea where to put the bottom of the of the seagrass so that it won't they won't show once I get my octopus on there. That's why I'm so confidently putting this together because I've already done one, right? But if you're making a collage and you have parts that you want to be sure some pieces of it are hidden, you want to make all of your die cuts first and then do some dry fitting. And I've also discovered that it helps a lot once you get something that looks nice that you like, take a picture of it with your phone so that when you take it apart, it's uh, still able to be put back together in the same exact way. All right, and then I'm also gonna take this vellum branch coral and put it on there too, behind the octopossi. And we're gonna put him right there. You don't really see it very much. In fact, if you look at the sample, you can just barely see it there, but when you have the card up close, all those textures make an impression for you. So that's why I did that. All right. Spring in Arizona. Nice, Robbie. Yeah, Julie, you need this bundle. You definitely need this bundle. Robbie, you do too if you don't already have it on your list. Okay, now I'm going to set this aside and we're going to pull out our Stampopotamus and I'm going to show you how to make the two-toned octopus A. Bond, James Bond. All right, so I've got my piece of scrap Whisper White. And I'm going to put the magnet on because I am, in fact, going to stamp him twice. But i got to find my stamp set. Oh, here it is. Good Lord, Mary. Right in front of your face. It's right in front of your face, I tells you. All right. Put that under there. Now, because I'm just cutting it out, it doesn't really matter where I put him to start with. But I also want to be able to get my sentiment from this piece, so I'm going to just make sure he's up at the top. And I'm pulling out my Tranquil Tide Sponge Daba. Maybe. Maybe I am. Maybe I already had him out. Maybe I was more prepared than I thought, eh? Okay. So what I'm going to do first is stamp him one time in pineapple punch. Okay. So I'm going to pick him up and I'm going to ink, 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 like that. And it helps if you say ink, 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 ink while you're doing it. Because you not only sound goofy, but you make sure you get a lot of ink on there. Okay, here we go. We're going to stamp him once like that, and then I'm going to take my Tranquil Tide. Uh, for this particular, Karen, for this, I do prefer the daughters over the sponges. Um, if, I'm, if I'm actually sponging like the side of a piece of cardstock, I'll often pull out my sponges, but my daubers are in that nice little handy case, and so they're just a little easier to locate the ones I'm, I'm looking for. So 
It's just a matter of preference. So all I'm doing is I'm daubing the dauber, as it were, and then I'm just gonna kind of circle it around on the tentacles, like that. And y'all know that octopuses, octopus eye, octopod lays, uh, change color, right, when they get worried about stuff. So this little guy is changing color, apparently. Okay. And he's in mid-transformation. Show us again how the... Okay, hang on just a sec. Let me stamp this while it's good. All right. Here's the new ink pads. Now, to be quite honest, I am a creature of habit, and so change is difficult for me. So it takes me a second sometimes, but really all you have to do is put your thumb in this indentation and pull it up, and then, and then it just pushes in just like the old ones did. They've acknowledged that the new pads, when you first get them, are snug, and that's good. It means that you're less likely to flip it and have the lid come out, which happens quite a bit with the old pads. So just thumb, lift, and push, like that. And then pull it back, and click. And it just clicks down. All right? That helps, Susan? Yes, octopi. Amy, you are correct. Octopi. Okay, and then we have him stamped, and you can see he's changed color. And you can put more or less color however you like. Um, sponge daubers are not exactly precision instruments, so when I first did this, my thought was, I would just color the tentacles, or the uh, the little sucker doodads, but yeah, that didn't work out. So, let's put him aside, and put the Stampopotamus aside, and get him out of there. All right. Now, I'm going to go get my Mr. Big Shot, hang on a second, put these little pieces out. Obviously, I could not pre-cut this little dude because you wouldn't have gotten to see the coloring technique. All right. And I've got my magnetic platform. Yes, Jacqueline, you are correct. Um, they will loosen up. As you use them, they're going to. Okay, so I've got my magnetic pad platform on, and I'm just going to take a second and make sure everything lines up. There's a lot to line up, so you kind of have to look at all the different pieces and parts. that a run through. I'd have to give it a face. Well, you can do that. Hey, Karen. Uh, every time you stamp, your paper lifts even with the magnets down. It, have you tried doing it in the corner? It's a lot easier in the corner of the, in the corner versus um, out in the middle of the field. I'm assuming you've tried doing it up in the corner. Oh, and look. A Starship Enterprise emblem, in case you need a white one. I'll just save that in case, just in case. You never know when I may get an urge to make another group of star. And there you go, one each, changing color, octopus. All right, Mr. Big Shot, that will be all we need from you today. Thank you very much. We'll save this for our sentiment. Well, actually, that's not true. We're going to cut one more thing. In fact, while I've got, while we're doing that, Smudge daubers. <laughs> no, Amy, I won't ever put it down. I love it too much. It's too easy. All right, now I'm going to do a quick, my sentiment right quick. All right. And we're going to stamp him in Tranquil Tide on this same piece of Whisper White. Get it reaching out, eight arms reaching out. Okay. Yeah. And then with the die from the Lakeside Framelits, 
I'm going to cut it and I'm going to cheat it so that the sentiment is further to the outside, okay? And you can even go a little further because this end's going to be cut off anyway. All right, hang tight while I cut this. Just a minute. I don't hear murmuring. You're supposed to be murmuring amongst yourselves. So here we go. Isn't that handy that that die is in that little set right there like that? All right. So here we have our uh, card front getting ready to be made. And now is a time when, once again, I would do some dry fitting just to see, to be sure I've got everything how I want it to be. So let me bring all of my parts back, my little parts. And need to find my tweezers because my tweezers are required because I don't do anything very well without tweezers. Which means you'd think I'd keep them where I could find them, right? Yeah? But no, they're there. All right. So my concept here is we're going to have the sentiment out here. We'll put a sand dollar here, maybe there. And then we'll put the octopus here. And then we'll stack some things in front. So that'll be good. Okay. All right. Before we do that, I used the crumb cake twine from the new Nature's Poem, Nature's Twine, which is in the Nature's Poem suite. Um, and you get mint macaron, blackberry bliss, grapefruit grove, and crumb cake all in one pack. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some glue dots. Hey Lenny, glad you could join, appreciate ya. I'm gonna take a few glue dots and I'm gonna stick them around on my finger where they're going to stick where I don't need them to be. Put some glue dots here and here. And then we'll see if we can get one to stick to the dazzle. The glimmer paper. Sure enough. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is kind of just wind some loops around. Another one. Come on, glue dots. I realized today that I am almost out of glue dots, so it's about time to order me some more. All right, let's cut this off. Now we can get it straightened out. When did this idea come to me? I don't know, Karen. It just kind of you know I like you know how I am about collage cards, so I'm always looking for a reason to do a collage. I love winding twine around, so you know. When I saw the sketch, this is the sketch from Freshly Made Sketches this week, and somehow in my head, when I first saw it, I saw the strip with the sentiment and this little guy as the circle, and then I decided that little guy as the circle wasn't nearly enough, and so the collage grew from there, all right? All right, so now I'm going to restack my stack so that I can see how much to cut off of my sentiment. See, I don't like how that's sticking out under there, so I'm going to cut it about there. Actually, I'm going to cut it about there. So I'm just going to grab it where I want to cut it. It's really not that, you know, like rocket science. All right. I'm going to put him there, and then this guy will go on, like, let's go like that, go like that, there we go, that'll work right there, just like that, okay, now I'll pull out some dimensionals for the sentiment, we'll put it down first, 
All right. Yes, Rose, this is a wonderful set. Bashful Blue. Jacqueline, I'm sorry I don't know Bashful Blue. Um, how long has that one been gone? I don't, I don't remember using Bashful Blue any. Um, Amy, if you're still on, maybe, maybe Bashful Blue is something you remember. I'm sorry, Jacqueline. All right, now we're going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back of this large um, sand dollar. And we'll stick him on. And I'll use a little liquid glue too. Mix between marina mist and soft sky. Okay, that sounds about right, and Amy is correct. It is a beautiful color. I love it. The uh, The new colors are really nice. I mean, the new colors are really nice. Um, I am loving Grapefruit Grove. It's my current favorite at this instant in time. That will change as I become passionate about other ones. Okay, now we're going to dimensionalize the back of the octopus. And I'm pretty generous with them on these things because I like to support all these die cut pieces, right? So don't be shy. Dimensionals are pretty cheap and they do a good job. You don't want your octopus getting away, trust me. Trust me on that. You don't want him getting away because if he gets away, where would he be? Nobody knows. And then I'm going to cut some of these edge pieces to put on the little tentacles like this. Oh, that one went crazy. Must be the cold. Everything's crazy today. You guys, I managed to get a dog who has allergies, seasonal allergies, I think. He's Every time we go outside, he sneezes. He, <coughs> <clears throat> I want to offer him my Zyrtec. <coughs> I won't, of course. Do not fret. All right, so he's dimensionalized. And now we'll stick him on. Me, why with dimensionals? <laughs> yeah, Robbie, of all the people online right now, I knew you would not be shy with your dimensionals. <laughs> Since you have like approximately 7.8 billion copy packets of them right now, I'm thinking. We used to talk about being ready for the zombie apocalypse. You got your vegetables, you got your dehydrated food, and you have seven billion dimensionals. Are you ready to rock? Yeah. Okay, so this is very technical. I'm just peeling off the covers of my 400 dimensionals. And about the only hard thing will be making sure that when I stick him down, his little tentacles don't cover my sentiment, which is not very hard to do. Okay, all of the little dimensional guys are dimensional, undimensional covered. And here we go. We're just gonna stick him like that. All right, get him all stuck, stuck down. Get him all stuck down good. And now we're gonna decorate with a few more little corals. Put some corals there with liquid glue. That's my word, dimensionalize. Yep, there it is. It is a real word. If you hear it on YouTube, I believe that makes it correct. Pretty certain. Or on Facebook. All right. No, don't want them that high. Right there. That looks good. And then we'll take one of these soft sea foam. I don't know. This one could end up being one of my favorite colors. It's very close to mint macaron, so that might be why I like it. I'm going to put him right there like that. And I just used... Did I put any liquid glue under the part that was actually supposed to stick? Maybe. There we go. Now I'm going to take a small dimensional and I'm going to show you a little trick. 
I've got it peeled and peeled and then I'm taking my little tweezers here and I'm sticking it under there because I didn't put one there when I first put him down and you know that works every single time when you guys aren't online there we go okay now because I like it I'm gonna stick one of these little fill-ins here just gotta find where he goes there it goes okay so we'll put a little bit of liquid glue on this starfish's tentacles. Now you can either say this is a starfish sitting on top of a sand dollar, or you can say this is a tranquil tide soft sea foam starfish. I mean sand dollar. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's put another couple of starfish on here, like this. Turn him a little bit. Come here, little tranquil tide guy. All right, and then we'll stick that like that right there. Okay, and now ah, uh, thank you, Amy. That's nice. No, it is not better than let. Oh, I should have used lemon lime twist on this card. What was I thinking? Okay, look at these beautiful um, pearls, you guys. This is the Share What You Love Artisan Pearls Pack, and it is so beautiful. So saffron, mint macaron, uh, rich razzleberry, I believe. Uh, what's the new pink? Shoot. Mm, it's not powder pink. What the heck is the new? Petal pink. Petal pink and grapefruit grove, and these are beautiful. So I'm going to get a little bit busy with them. I'm going to use a so saffron on this one. Oops. I got a little carried away. A little too quick with it. Stick down there, you buggers. Come on, liquid glue. Don't fail me now. I'm going to put a little more liquid glue on there. Hang on. I don't know, Karen. I'm making another one tomorrow, and it's all going to be lemon lime twist. Every bit of it just for Julie, because I know she's devastated by the fact that there is no lemon lime twist on this card. Okay, now let's see. We're gonna put a few more of these little yellow ones kind of here and there, hither and yon. I love these colored pearls. Sadly, I could probably use them on every single card and not get tired of it. So with any luck, I won't do that. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. That's an odd number, that's good, but I'm gonna put a sixth one on, because that one right there, that little starfish is just dying for a pearl, isn't he? Just dying. Which means I need to put another one, because you know, odd numbers, decorate with odd numbers there. That looks like a good spot. Okay, and there is my card front, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty tickled with. I really like how this card turned out. All right, so let's set that aside and do a little decorating on the inside. And I've got some little parts left over, so I might do a little something different, but we'll start with the basics. On the inside of my prototype, this is what I did. So I just stamped the stamp image of the net in um, Pineapple Punch and then Tranquil Tied some, a couple of the different kinds of coral. So we may do that and then I may add, uh, we'll see what we do. We'll see what we're gonna do. What are we gonna do? We don't even know what we're gonna do. That's what we know is that we don't know what we're gonna do. Yes, this is a wonderful set, and like this is this is in the pre-order. So if you're a demo, you can get this on the first of May. Um, and again, if you aren't a demo but would like to be a demo, now that would be a great time to join, and you can get all sorts of new stuff in your starter kit. All right, so gonna do a little more pineapple punch with the net on just a whisper white panel okay. and the pineapple punch and tranquil tide and um, and the blue whose name has just escaped me mm -hmm. that one they really work very nicely together, whatever color that is. Where'd my tranquil tide go? Do you guys see it? Here it is. Okay. <laughs> May is going to be very busy. Balmy blue, balmy blue. There it is. All right. Thank you, Amy. 
All right, so I've got the uh, branch coral, and you can see, if you can see it, there's um, some like grooves in the image, so it turns out to be kind of wavy looking, like it was underwater, like that. When I first stamped it, I was like, oh no, that is not right. But then I realized it was right. All right. And then I'm going to stamp these guys. I'm going to stamp them off once and stamp them behind the larger coral. Now, let's see if we want to play with these sand dollars at all. Or possibly. Maybe just this soft, oh yeah, that's it right there. That's all we're gonna do right there is put that little soft foam starfish on there. There we go. We'll put him right there, just like that. And never, ever, ever forget you can also put pearls on the inside of your card. There we go. Nobody says pearls are only from the, for the front. And if they do, they're just lying to you. It's fake news. It's fake news. All right. Now we'll just uh, give this a pretty quick fast fusy izing. That is the wrong size entirely. Hang tight, people. Let me get this cut down to size. I used a slightly different size on these. Ah, it isn't. You know what I did? You guys want to know what I did? You want to know what I did? Yeah. Hang on a second. This is correct. This is wrong. Wait one. Yeah. I'll fix it. We'll make it be down. We'll make it get small. Okay, hang on just a second. I'm going to cut that down, okay? So I need four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. Flexibility is the key to modern air power. There we go. Like so. And then we'll fast fuse him into our Tranquil Tide card base. Loving this pineapple punch with the Tranquil Tide. I think you're going to see that a lot from the Stamps and Lingers post. Kathy, I'm really sorry, but I had to start an hour early. Did I order enough? Um, <laughs> my credit card and my husband think so, so I'm going to go with yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. And that's a little too small, but it's okay. All right, and then we will popify the card front on with dimensionals. Come here, dimensionals. Here we go. Guys, I had a little bit of exciting news this weekend. Want to hear it? I mean, it was exciting for me. Very exciting for me, actually. I was very excited for it. So here it is. I'm just going to tell you because you'll never guess. Not in a million, million, billion, billion world. Uh, oh, did I order enough pearls? No, I need to get some more of those. <laughs> Definitely, because I'm going to use the stink out of them. You know what's so exciting about an annual catalog is you know you have 365 days to use these things that are so wonderful. It's so exciting to have a brand new 
So here it is. This is my exciting news. Y'all, I've earned the Greek Islands Cruise in 2019. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! I'm going to go eat dolmas and baklava. And I'm going to see the Parthenon. I am so excited. I cannot wait. Y'all be thinking good thoughts that the world situation is such in 2019 that I'm not afraid to be on a cruise in the Mediterranean there. Um, part of the problem of being military is I know too much, but I am planning on enjoying the stink out of it. So for all of you who are my customers and my downline, I certainly do appreciate it because it's all because of you. All right, here we go. This is the card front. Uh, the inside, don't like it a bit. I will probably be pulling this off before it goes anywhere. In fact, I know it for certain. And you know how I'll do that. I'm going to heat it with the heat tool and pick that up. And then I'll put the correct size on there. All right. So let's quick, like a bunny, finish off our envelope. Because no card is complete until the envelope is done. The envelope, please. And all I'm going to do is repeat the inner liner. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Definitely pray for peace. Going to need some peace. And anybody who's going, don't watch Captain Phillips. Trust me on that. All right, so we're just going to repeat the net. And then I'm going to put some more coral. All right, let's see. Coral, coral, coral. Okay, and then the other smaller coral. Stamped off once, like so. And that's good for the card front. Give it a wave. Some of the darker pigments take a second to dry. Pirate films for a year. That is great. <laughs> hey, Verna. I'm sorry I had to start early today. I hoped everybody had gotten the word, but apparently not. I'm sorry. Now, here's a question that you guys could leave me a comment on. Would this time be better or worse for people? If we did this time every week, would it be worse? I think a lot of people are good with the 8 o'clock Eastern time. I can go either way. So you let me know, 8 o'clock Eastern or 7 o'clock Eastern. And actually, in fact, if I can figure out how to put a poll on my Facebook page, I will put a poll on there so that everybody can kind of vote. And we'll, we'll do a majority rules. So I've got a little more of the balmy blue. DSP from the Tranquil Textures DSP and I'm just going to trim that down to make it fit. Isn't that a pretty pattern on the back of that? I really like that one too. Think of the possibilities of all of this wonderful paper you guys, really. And there we have it. What do you think? Good? Y'all need this set. I, I think you just really need this set. This is a clear or wood. And um, it's going to be a wonderful suite to be able to purchase. All right. Anybody have any questions? You need eight because you have church at night. Okay, that makes sense. Very good. I'm going to put a poll up. And whichever one works the best for the most people is what we'll probably do. Um, I'm guessing it'll stay at 8 o'clock, but one never knows, does one. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. And I hope I will see you on the blog through the week and for this video again next week. Bye-bye. Thanks.